Ding in the ding! Soki, Soki, long time! <laughs> shit anyway who gives a fuck apparently none of you do you're not doing anything about it aside from the parents who are actually doing something most of you are probably millennials just sitting at home masturbating to david hall <laughs> Disney had it bad back in the day when he had a bad case of sexism because he was a sexist. Well, now he has a good reason to be a sexist if he were alive in this day and age because of people like that. And I've got nothing against trans people. I think they're just as unique as anyone else. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you've got to understand this. If you are born a guy and you become a girl, you are still by birth a man. Having a sex change to become the opposite sex isn't going to change the fact that you were born with a dick. Okay? Changing sexes from male to female will not change the fact that you were born with a cock and balls. Just like I was. I was born with a cock and balls. I still have a cock and balls because I haven't changed my sex. And I'm not going to change my sex either because I'm going to pull my own skin. Also, a very simple reminder from Rich Wilson and David Wolf reminding you to be careful when you blindly follow the masses because sometimes the end is silent, and you know where I'm going with this, obviously because the M in masses is silent. Of course, that would mean asses, but here we can die. And here's another one of my WTF favorites, namely this fucking video by Worst Course. Whatever the fuck that guy is, they don't even fucking care, fuck it. Love the cradles with human blackhead plus cheese. What's just that caught in the restaurant? It's not for sale. Well, no shit. Hello, I'm 59 years old. I identify as an 18 year old girl. I'm living in the middle of my girlfriend that's around my age, 18 to 24. People, if ever you want to succeed at being a troll, this would be the definitive way to do it. Morning. Six roadkill was illegal. <laughs> oh God! What did you fucking think? Oh, oh! By the way, by the way, people, walk on the muff. Seriously, please dive carefully, because there's no driving in muff. Don't you wish this could happen to every single Democrat living today? Yeah, I totally wish that, man. Absolutely. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Hey, I didn't know Bruce Banner was a faggot. Jesus Christ. What the f- I have no words for this. By the way, another famous quote that you should recognize by the ever popular Ringo Starr of the Beatles. This guy, who was best known for being the original narrator of the Thomas the Tank Engine show from way back 
in 1984 to around 86 before, you know, before before Michael Angelus took over and whatnot. I can't remember which seasons though, but I will tell you this. What he says in this quote is absolute truth. Everything government touches turns to crop. And you couldn't have said it better. In fact, hell, I couldn't have even said it better even if I tried. And and try as I might, but I can't sum it up quite as accurately as he can. I mean <laughs> It's just common sense, people! It's common sense! Oh, you want an example of restaurants gone shit? Well, here are a few examples. Howard Johnson's ice cream made a huge flash. Many changes in ownership killed them. And with that, let's get to Sambo's. Obvious racial tone, that's why it closed. For good reason, mind you. Yeah! Kenny Rogers Roasters! Owned and operated by Kenny Rogers, but he got way over his head. Of course, several ownership changes led to it becoming successful in Asia. Restaurant in America closed, I don't know when, but it's still popular in Asia because it can be Noobs are golden soldiers, yo! Yeah! Uh huh. And this closed down because the owners got too carried away and they pressed their luck way too damn far and expanded too much. They grew too much and they killed themselves in the process. And good fucking reason. Say, you remember Roy Rogers, right? The guy who made up his own show and served with his roasters? He actually opened up his own milkshake restaurant, and in 1990, the restaurant expanded too much, 600 locations, now it's down to 50, but it somehow survived it and was revived a few years ago in 2015, and there are eight new locations that are about to pop up. For good reason! Burger Chef was the original Happy Meal, unlike McDonald's claims they Despite Burger Chef being in some six years before, Burger Chef had the fastest cooking rate of hamburgers at that time, 800 per minute. And then they decided to expand too much, and then shit went to hell. That's what happens when you get overconfident, people. Meanwhile, we have Mini Pearl's Chicken. Now, it was successful for a time, but apparently it closed down due to Mini Pearl operating a broad ring. Hey everybody, we've got a lobster over here. That's broad, broad. God damn it, I mean GD Ritzy's Bar and Grill. Apparently split off from Wendy's its own chain, but it wasn't successful obviously because all the locations closed except for three in nearby states close to mine, obviously. And that's what you get when you try to say that the grass is green on the other side. Did you say bullshit? Okay, next one. Shrimp boat or shrimp boats was a bunch of independent restaurants all sharing the same name for whatever reason because they weren't really a chain they were just a bunch of independent franchises sharing the same name and by the way gd ritzy's is gonna get a reboot soon so look out for that come into a ghetto used car lot near you so yeah but shrimp boat went to hell because it wasn't really a chain, but operating as too many different franchises sharing the same name, so there's that. Then of course we have White Tower, which is a WHITE CASTLE knockoff. There's a wannabe White Castle that obviously was basically infringing, I should say, on the copyright of White Castle. And a judge ruled in favor of White Castle, which means White Tower went to shit. And then we have the All-Star Cafe, which was run by a bunch of overpaid athletes who decided to run their own restaurant chain with only a short period of all-out advertising in the 90s, which led to its short run 
albeit a very, very extended slow that happened in the last about 12 years between 95 and 07, so. So to get your head out of that one, huh? Yes! And then we're gonna go back to the episode! Let's get to the Time now for our cringe moment of the day! Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, an annoyed pregnant woman purposely trips a four year old, causing him to have a concussion. <laughs> These are the same people that get in fights in Chuck E. Cheese's, that let their kids go on a company and terrorizing people at Chuck E. Cheese's. They voted for fucking Hillary Clinton in the goddamn first place. You ever want to know why I don't go to Chuck E. Cheese anymore? It's because of bullshit like this. That's why Chuck E. Cheese is going to go out of business in the next 10 years. I'm fucking calling it Chuck E. Cheese! What a damn good reason! I think he's actually turned out into a quite right, fine young man. Kinda like me, except he's famous and I'm not. I guess that's the price you pay for selling your soul to Satan and the Bavarian Illuminati? I don't know. Either way, I wouldn't put it past Justin, cause he's just as human as I am, and I'm just as human as he is, and that's that. Oh, by the way, nice beard, buddy. Or nice mustache, I should say. Your mustache looks great, man. Fucking keep it up. And, and what about those tattoos? Those tattoos look pretty good, too. Except I'm not allowed to wear tattoos because of a back ass words ideology that all politicians in general have. And pretty much everyone in Hollywood, the only people who can have a tattoo, by the way, are lip tart, cuck sucking, liberal dickheads. So. If you're a Clinton supporter, you're clearly retarded. On second thought, I say to hell with it. Why don't we just move on with something else, right? And with that, let's move on. These Democrats be like, ah, fuck you, <laughs> idiots. <laughs> it fucked up news. Some of it's actually pretty good, but others are 
course. <laughs> but you already get that, so it's good. Alright, let's talk about today's news. North Korea skipping an annual anti-American imperialism rally. Very much a shocker, right? Well, it shouldn't be, considering North Korea is doing what Donald Trump is telling them now. So they're on our side now. Even they know that the Democrats are full of shit. And they know this now because Kim Jong-un's father and grandfather tried to force them into extermination because they were Democrats. Well, Kim Jong-un actually turned to the light side, to the right side, to the Republican side. So he's siding with Trump now, and you know what? It's the best decision he's ever made. And the North Koreans are going to thank him very much for that. God bless you, Kim Jong-un. By the way, another Trump supporter, Kanye West, is defending his support of Trump and his slavery comment. And with damn good reason, I should say, because you know he's right. Meanwhile, President Trump himself is trolling the Filthy Hen restaurant over Sarah Sanders supposedly getting booted from the restaurant because the owner of said restaurant is a selectively retarded Democrat who gives no shits about anybody else, not even herself. And this guy, a GOP lawmaker, you know, I think his comment recently says everything so perfectly. I don't want most of the time. You're damn right. Yeah, man. You got that right. Give me power. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Meanwhile, in science, the world's tiniest computer makes a grain of rice seem massive in comparison. So the scientists at the University of Michigan upstaged IBM's world's smallest computer and they made one a temperature sensing computer measuring 0.04 cubic millimeters a tenth of the size of IBM's previously world's smallest computer holy shit Meanwhile, in other news, Saudi women are finally getting their driver's license with a few caveats. So this is historic for them. Also, most Americans don't want a robot into their home when they know good and damn well that they already have one. Because they have a laptop, they have a TV, a security system, they already have robots into their homes. They just don't know it. How many do you want to bet most of them are Democrats? Meanwhile, Chris Paul and Steph Curry teamed against each other and around a celebrity family feud back on June the 21st, or the 24th I should say, which was basically the end of last week as of this report. And Chris Paul got absolutely owned once again off the court it's it's bad enough that he's been getting owned by curry on the court it's even more funny it's even hilarious mind you even more comedically ironic that he's still losing to him off the court that's hilarious man holy shit meanwhile facebook the great center of democracy has created a human crisis team after the algorithm spell no, they haven't, and it's going to fail, just like Facebook. And, of course, orange juice of all the drinks that you can possibly take in is being linked to skin cancer, according to a latest study, and also according to the site Your Tank. Meanwhile, the father was shot dead in front of the daughter's trip to camp. A father in front of his daughters was shot dead during a camping trip. How much do you want to bet this guy was killed by 
ISIS members and MS-13. How much you want to bet on that, huh? Because I bet my fucking ass on it. I literally bet my ass on it. And if I'm wrong, I will have my entire ass and rectum surgically removed. Because that is how sure I am that MS-13 was responsible for this. Meanwhile, Nick Paulson and James Scott created a book that best sums up how I feel about the evolution of humanity and machines. They say that people and machines are smarter together. It's not man versus machine anymore. Have you not figured that out, guys? It's man with machine. It's not man versus machine anymore. It's man with machine. Embrace the technology. If you work with it, it'll work with you. Simple. Also, fun fact. Arachidibiophobia. Arachidibiophobia. Is the fear of getting your butt stuck to the roof of your mouth. Imagine that shit, right? Meanwhile, there's a guy named Porter Stanbury who is the modern-day equivalent to Nostradamus and Myron Fagan. He who has been known to predict every major event over the last eight years when saying that Brandy May and Brandy Mac would go bankrupt and that General Motors would go bankrupt and that General Growth Properties would go bankrupt and that oil would fall to less than $50 a barrel and every single time despite nobody believing him he was right so Stanberry Porter Stansberry the founder of a Baltimore based financial research form has said has made a prediction He's made a prediction that America's next big bankruptcy will be bigger than anything else in history. It will cause stocks to go to hell in a handbasket, hurting pension funds, banks, insurance companies, and countless more. And many people own one or more of these companies that are going to be affected. And this looming bankruptcy is going to come with a political event that will dramatically affect you and your money regardless of whether or not you're in the stock market. Regardless of whether or not you're in Wall Street. He says that this political event will be the most catastrophic event in American history and also the most important political issue of the next election cycle in 2020. He's right. It's going to happen. Believe him. He was right when he said Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac would go bankrupt. He was right when he said General Motors would go bankrupt and that General Growth Properties would go bankrupt. He was right when he said that oil would fall to below $50 a barrel. So you've got to believe him. It's time, people. Take his word seriously. You'll never regret it. Meanwhile, seaweed in your almond milk and peanuts are in dynamite. It's actually pretty funny. I mean, seaweed can be found in your almond milk. Peanuts are found in explosive. Peanuts! 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 Yeah. Three little monkeys reference. Good little monkeys, I should say. Uh, Mama and Rudolph Ising cartoon. That is the most historically accurate MGM cartoon that's ever been. Nothing else that has come even generations after it could match its historical accuracy. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, these retards, these democratic fuckheads want to abolish ICE. But here's what I have to say. These guys are the worst of what humanity offers and an overall example of why even God intentionally makes mistakes 
every once in a while to prove beyond any doubt, shadow, or any dispute that he can, will, and does every day just as effortlessly rectify any mistake that he makes. And that's why we have abortion clinics. Oh, by the way, by the way, Trump is looking to make more history with Russia's Prime Minister Well, technically, he was their president, but, you know. I mean, it's just, it's pretty simple. Also, just a quick recap. If you haven't figured it out now, you guys have been living under a rock for too long. It's time to fucking wake up. Wake the fuck up! By the way, this episode of Talking to Myself News has been sponsored by... Not Robert Green. Because he absolutely fucking sucks. And by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is paid predominantly by Sugar Hockey.